maintain the right perspective. In, in, in other words, before you can get control of your situation, you must get control of yourself, particularly of your emotions. So you have to make yourself calm down. Even if you have to say it verbally to yourself, just calm down, calm down. I want you to see your mind like water. Just think of your mind for a moment, just like water. Do you know how when water is agitated, it becomes difficult to see through water that's moving? But once it settles, you have clarity. You ever notice that? You can't see through moving water, but still water has such great clarity to it. Your mind is like that. While your mind is just roughing it, it's going through all of these things, and you can't see clearly, you have to let it settle, calm down, calm down, calm down. Here's what, what that does. Perspective brings calm. Perspective brings calm. Calm leads to clear thinking. It leads to clear thinking. Clear thinking yields new ideas, and ideas produce the bloom of an answer, and that's the wonderful thing about it. Now, have you ever thought about the fact that when you have a, a, a problem, you have to get a perspective about things. People can do things, you know, if, if you know that you have this ability within you to be able to creatively think and, and uh, solve problems on your job or build something, and then all of a sudden what you built is taken away from you. Somebody cheats you out of it. You get laid off of a job. But it, it was given to you, and, and now you lose it. But here's the thing, why get upset over something that you lost? You know, just like I've had people to take some of my original material and then go and, and, and use it as though it's theirs. I don't have it. I'm not going to be insecure over that. You know why? Because the same God that gave it to me the first time can give me some more. I'd be terribly insecure if that was all I had and somebody stole it. But I got that. I'll have something else next week. You know, I'm confident in him about that. I really am. I'm so confident. Wouldn't it be crazy if, if a hen lays an egg and now she goes, has, almost has a nervous breakdown because she lost an egg? She knows that even if somebody comes and takes that egg, uh, you know, a little while later she's going to lay another one. Do you realize that when you are gifted and when you are creative, that the same way that you drop that egg, God will drop the egg of another idea in you? Do you realize that if you built something one time, you can build again? That if God gave you the grace to do this, he'll give you that grace, that gift is in you. You've not lost anything. People cannot take away who you are. You are the gift. You are the wealthy place. You don't have to think about somebody taking away something. They have no capacity to take away your real gift. You are the gift. They can steal your eggs all you want, but there's another egg that's coming from after that, you know, a few more days, and they'll be laying some other eggs. So don't worry about some eggs that get lost in the process and some eggs that get broken. And I see people that have a whole pity party and want to go down and, and file laws, lawsuits over cracked eggs. But you're going to have, you'll lay another egg. God will give you another idea. God will give you another job. God will give you another business. He, I'm, I'm just telling you, he'll give you another money maker. I, I'm just, I, I just want you to have, keep that. See, that's a perspective. That is a perspective that helps you to maintain your calm, to maintain your calm, maintain your calm.